Uh, my horse always rides with its head to the right. How do I fix this? Okay, so number one, you've got to do some basic checks. Okay, have you checked the teeth? Um, does it get its tongue over the bit? Is it maybe, has it got holes in the bars because it's got its tongue over the bit? Um, so it's trying to protect itself and, and moving one way. Is the saddle fitting correctly? Because if the saddle is not fitting correctly, um, you know, no horse is symmetrical. Okay, if you stand straight in front of your horse and you put your arm around its shoulders, around its neck and onto its shoulders, you will see that the one shoulder is actually ahead of the other shoulder. Um, and like us, you know, you're either right-handed or left-handed, okay? And and your right side, if you're right-handed, will be stronger than your left side. Now, with a horse, unfortunately, what happens with that, let's say that the left shoulder is forward, okay? So if the left shoulder is forward and the right shoulder is back, then where the left shoulder is forward behind it is where the withers dip. So you're going to have your saddle sitting into that hollow. Okay, because the other side is where the shoulder, the, the, the um, scapula, the shoulder blade is sitting and it's higher than where the other shoulder is forward. So the saddle sits and twists. So possibly you've got a saddle fitting issue where the horse is uncomfortable and that scapula is moving back into that. You've got to put a proper pad there that alleviates the scapula and lets the scapula move under the saddle. Okay. Um, have you checked its feet, for example? Because uh, that's something that we will be bringing you in time where if the um, bars have overgrown the feet and you've got problematic feet and the horse is uncomfortable there and can't move comfortably, then it's going to carry and, and, and try and alleviate those pressures. If you go through all those checks and everything there is good, now, just go back and start to supple the horse to the other side. Let's say it carries its head right. You need to actually add a standstill to start. Just bend the horse, bend it, hold the pressure until it gives. Now give back. So you're going to work that suppleness to the left hand side. Now go to when you um, you've done that. Okay. Now go to a walk and get a one rein stop. Bend it left. And when you pull, the horse might go around in a circle. Let it go around the circle till it stops, then let the, the, the pressure go. Pretty soon when you touch that left-hand side, the horse is already putting its head there. So now that one rein stop at a walk, you then go to a, a trot. And every time it starts to put the head to the right, touch the left rein. Get the head straight. Bump it straight. Let go. The minute it's in where you want it, let the pressure go. But you bump it back all the time. And if it won't, now get a bit stronger. Don't jerk. You never go from a loose rein to a tight rein. But you go and you then bend it and you make the one rein stop. Till it knows when you touch on that left rein, it's got to put its head there. Now you teach the horse to rate that way because it's trotting along. You want it to slow down. You touch the left rein. It slows down, but you're touching that rein more gently. So the horse slows down. You let go. But you're bumping that horse, horse's head back to the left all the time. Okay, so if you've done your medical checks, that's the next way that you're going to get a horse traveling in the correct position. Um, and we'll chat a little bit later about um, where the head should be, because that's one of the questions later. But just get that head back. And every time it puts it in the right place, let the pressure go. It goes back, pressure, let go, pressure, let go, until it's got its head in the right place and will carry it there and leave it there. And it's just, it, it, you will build that side up very quickly um, and that horse will straighten out for you very, very quickly.